Welcome back to another episode of the Reggie's Podcast. You're here with three blokes who could have been anything but decided to have fun instead. Boys, Falcons, diving tactics, post-game interviews, heaps of Reggie shit from the RRLC, mm. plus all your footy from both codes and heaps more. All's right in the world, boys. The Dragons are still shit. Mm, that's right. <laughs> Good to I was, know. I and was the worried. Tips. I was worried yeah. them and the Tigers all of a sudden were world beaters, mm. but it's good to see they aren't. Tigers, yeah. no good. Dragons, really bad. It, it actually mm. made me feel this week, I think six out of eight mm. I got, and it was just nice to be like, cool, I'm two rounds in things and I'm like, normal. things are normal. Like That's Things right. should just fucking. I was, it was <laughs> yeah. like, who the fuck played in round one for Dragons to same team, but why were they so good? And then the complete opposite. <laughs> Might be the Rags. whole new coach, the new feeling, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, That's we're back, always, yeah. Nana. <laughs> it's 2010, Jamie Sayward. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll get into that soon. Mm. We're not gonna. I'm not even gonna ask you how your day was <laughs> yesterday because you oh. had a prime down the Bruce, and everyone would have heard that yeah, yeah. on another podcast <laughs> already <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so, Fair chance, yes. But I've never heard that where your flight gets delayed and they rebook you not two hours later, two days later. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's fucked. How was? The Jeremy Marshall King Falcon, boys. Mm. That is one of the <laughs> worst I've seen. How's the eyes just going? I love Ben Hunt's he was out. face where he just kicks it, realises that it happened, then he goes, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> like looking at him going, you. Did he fail his HIA or did he pass know. it? No, he passed it. Didn't he score a try? he scored a try but later did, in the game. So it doesn't remember after. scoring. Yeah. <laughs> it was after. Because yeah. I thought maybe he scored before. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking funny. Fucking oath. That um, is funny, eh? You know what really pissed me on Friday night? So don't mm. start talking about the game here because no. we're going to talk about that in I, a minute. I, yeah, I've got a bit of Reggie stuff before we get yeah, to the Yeah, for sure. Games. But this is just a topic I want to talk about quickly. Mm. It's the commentators at the moment. Now, I reckon this has been going on for a while, but for some reason it's only just sort of clicked in my head on Friday mm. night after I had a few sherbets. Mm. And... Um, when a player takes a dive right in the defensive line, so the old, oh, they ran at the outside shoulder. The shepherd milking what thing. Yeah. Yep. So ball goes out the back, the the edge back rower runs at the outside shoulder. Yeah. And the it's usually, let's be honest. Mitch it's Moses. Us, it's usually a halfback. Yeah, Moses. <laughs> that wears blue and gold. Mm. So when that happens, it's all well and good, whatever. It's a penalty. We all know that. But now the commentators go, Oh, gee, that was smart from Moses to go oh, down there. Oh, fuck off. What? That was smart to go down there. Like, You're literally praising saying milking. it's good to... Glorifying it taking it. a dive. And it, you should that, be going, so have fucked. a fucking go and try and get there, Moses. I don't know if it was Mitch. Like, I'm not going to... Yeah, but he's done it a thousand heart. times. So, like, let's just let's just say... D- encouraging it. Mm. I just go... Yeah, that's fucked. Can we at least say, like... Someone who never does it, never takes the shit, is like Joey Johns and that when he commentates. He normally yeah, he calls says it how it is. is. Yeah. But you get like the main commentator who, you know, runs most of the game. Yeah. And going, gee, that was smart to go down there. And which I'm you like, sort of go, calls. which you sort of go, if you're going off the rules of the game, yeah, it probably is. But if you're going off any sort of just like fucking. How can you live with yourself knowing that you've, you've milked it? And they're like, getting oh. – you people are noticing and they're praising it. Mm. <laughs> oh, I just fucking hated it. That, that is fucked. <laughs> I was Do you reckon the us out at the moment going, fucking all right, eh? He's playing by the rules, boys? Or? <laughs> sure Game is going right. soft. I just think, like, if you actively try and get there and you get fucking held up, they'll see that if they play it back. Mm. You can whinge – after you can't make it there and they score a try, fucking fly up to the rest mm. and go, oi, check that, bud. Yeah. But as at Moses the time, does. don't just lay there going, oh. Yeah. But he no, has both. If it doesn't play. go his way, then he'll run up and whinge in it's their face. The smart Mate, play. I, I cannot agree with you more there. Yeah, I think hated that's it. That's just shit. hated this, this sentence from yep. the commentator. Not even having to go at a player. It's the commentator. Yeah, yeah, yeah to, to glorify that that's what you should do. Yeah. So, like, kids are going, oh, I'm going to do that at fucking Yeah, because that, that sentence... Flopping. Gets said all the time in the fucking EPL and in soccer. Yeah. It was 100%. smart to go down. Like you get a little tap mm. on the ankle and it you was. You see how hard they milk it. Smart to go down yeah. in the penalty area or something. And, it just, and straight away it just draws your eyes to it, doesn't it? Mm. Like straight yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's get into a bit of RRLC work. Oh, yeah. Um, 
How is Adam Thompson? This was great. Tom so, o. Tomo, he's posted in the RRLC of a proud dad moment, right? His young bloke played his first game of seniors footy on the yeah, weekend. Yeah, yeah. Fucking huge, this kid. <laughs> yeah. Had the 10 on. Yeah, and could be anything. The old man's posted a video of his first hit up, knocked a bloke spark out. Yeah. <laughs> like, while well, he ran the ball. Oh, promise. Young fella was running the ball. Just giving the donut. Bumped him straight yeah. off, yeah. Bunt and old mate's fucking... Doing these oh, ones on the ground. Yeah. And we don't want to see that, obviously. No. It's not good to see a bloke get knocked out. But how'd that be for you, like, get the adrenaline confidence, and confidence yeah. going? Oh, that's the confidence <laughs> is up, bud. Fuck yeah, no. fucking hell. Uh, that was prime. Um, hopefully old mate's all right. Uh, sure he is. What happened here? I had to have – I had a little dig at a few blokes, actually. Did you? On the weekend, yeah. Big G just so, fucking steaming in, rhino. ripping and tearing. <laughs> Big rhino. He's uh, he's posted the leaderboard on the from the ESPN up and mm. said, "What the fuck's going on with your scoring system? It's all you know. All my other ones say that I'm on 14, but this one says I'm on 20. Or I can't remember the exact numbers, but for some reason, it was almost like they were adding our scores up from the AFL and NRL, but they weren't. I checked that, yeah, and yeah, it, right. it didn't add up either. So something's and I'm weird. going. I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. So I did the old Norwegian on it and fucking deleted the app." Put it back on and all the scores were right. Oh, yeah, perfect. right. So I just did that and so I had to post in there and say, give it the fucking reset. Ah, uh, the Norwegian. Um, yeah. Clip give it that. On the ears. Uh, there was one other thing in there that I answered in the same post and then I said, anything else I can fucking help with? <laughs> 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 the boys are just so, fucking not happy. Like, fix so this shit. With we your sorted it all out, and fair enough. And then everyone said their leaderboards were all fixed. Oh, so well, there you perfect. go. Um, if you're doing your apprenticeship as a lecky, just remember everything is fa- solved by just turning it off, <laughs> and turning it back on, and going, got it done. Any electronic shit. Mm. Very true. Yeah. Mm. If you're an IT wizard, you're fucking not. <laughs> you just turn it off <laughs> yeah. and back on again. Yeah, we all know the Norwegian. Uh, right. Damien Moyer. Moyer. I think Ooh. it's Moy, but Moyer. Got, got an eight legger, posted oh. it, had $8, 3,300. Fucking. Oh. All Classy. try scorers. Because, brings me on to a point a bit later on that, I that, know, oh right now. That's what you'd want to see this round. Like things actually happened like As they're they supposed should. to. Yeah. yeah. So teams won who were supposed to. And listen Cut to these scored. for a few try scorers. Walsh, Mariner, Katoa, Mulatalo, Kyle Felt, DWZ, Hammer. So all try scorers <laughs> that usually score tries in the back line. Yes. Not just a sprinkle in a little front row. That's nice. That's just, nice. Just nice. Not that's like supposed. a Reuben Cotter triple. <laughs> yeah. When I go for fucking. <laughs> Maybe that's who the listeners needed last week. Uh, yeah, well, obviously, but you can't pick and choose. No, you can't. Um, and Good Zachary. On him, pulling off one of those just once is nice. I yeah, cherish that. Just, just something like it's that. It's pretty much a $3,300 profit because you had fucking eight bucks on the oh, Fuck, that's a bit weird. <laughs> that's yeah. And then Zachary McKenna, credit to you for putting this video up. How's your ribs, old son? Because he put up a video of his, I don't know if it was his first game back or his first run back in yeah, the local oh, footy, oh, and he just got yeah. fucking sat, man. Oh, oh, and it was like the sound, the big... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Saw him coming, eh, hey, all the way. The yeah. boys just fucking Oh, well, him. it was off a tap. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> it's just fucking... It wasn't a soft run folded. either. I used to love that, the tap, especially when it was like Reggie's or something, midway through the half, no backup, but <laughs> Not at all. She's not just running in twos. It's yeah. one out. She's got about six out. cunts who are just V-lining, yeah. trying to get there first. Yeah. Normally a tip-on yeah. goes well in that we situation. We went... Um, Went round to Dossie's and watched the footy on Saturday night and we were all joking about how, um, because there was a few fucking back backs there, oh, right. former backs, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the forwards, worry about the backs. Uh, and we were going, yeah, how good was it when, you know, kick return, the boys are all blowing, getting back on side, just there's a full defensive line and everyone's yelling, just scoot it! <laughs> <laughs> just scoot it, boys! <laughs> And you're about to pick the fucking ball up at dummy oh, half. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor old winger still built like Scotty Minto's yeah. fucking running one out. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, I was guilty just of that. I'd be it. a forward running back. I'd see the winger and go, just take a fucking run. <laughs> Work, Let boy. me uh, breathe. Wonder what he's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> One up, boys. Nut truck it. <laughs> truck the nut. Oh, that's yeah, that's, that's funny as fuck because that is true. <laughs> true. Um, what do you got for us? Mate, I run into something and I've been looking out for a bit of Reggie stuff, like just a bit of nostalgic Reggie We've stuff. We've been talking about that. Yeah, and I bumped into something because you can't, you can't search for this stuff. It just finds you and you go, mm, that's yeah, right. that's Reggie. Now, there's a bloke called Cameron Streeter. I think he's on Facebook. I sent Quinn over the clip. He's just talking about his top five sports and why oh, he likes yeah. them. And you just can't argue with the bloke. Have a listen. <laughs> Top five sports professions. Coming in at number five is a darts player. You can be a fat cunt, you train at the pub, and you travel the world. Number four is a surfer. You travel the world, you can party lots, the girls love you, but unfortunately you can't be a fat cunt and you could be eaten by a shark. Number three is a baseballer. You can be a fat cunt, you get lots of money, you can party, but the downside is you're stuck in America all the season. Number two is a 2020 cricketer. You can be a fat cunt, you travel the world, and you've always got a teammate who's keen for a beer. Number one is a golfer. You get unbelievable money, you travel the world, you can be a fat you can bang lots of girls and you can play until you die. The only downside is you have to get up early. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, you've got to go with Streeter there. I think uh, as you get a bit older, the idea of still being able to compete in sports and be a fat cunt, mm. drink and eat what you want, mm. and it's travel. appealing to a Reggie, mm. it's, it's still... probably it, like mm. if you were going to put money aside, it'd be darts. Yeah. But. You got to think go of the down. money as yeah. well. So that's what he's done for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, if you're yeah. Go, if you're purely just going off the sport, you'd go darts. Yeah, oh, yeah, time. yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you can do that sure. on a Friday night with your mates. You've got a yeah. counterweight just holding you there. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing that you need to tra- like have physically all. going on for you. Look at nah. Luke Little, he's just, 16. He looks like a 40 year old. <laughs> like, as long as you it. don't have a stroke. Like you should be fucking pretty good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a bum they, shoulder. They reckon. Um, I watched a video of that. What's the big ogre's name? Van Gerwen, and oh, the, yeah. the Dutch bloke, and he was showing how he throws it. Yeah, and he was saying that no one has like the same throw. Oh, it's really? All, yeah, they're like, all different. It's just how you throw it. Yeah, There's no, so like, that's even technique. better. Yeah, that's fucking. There's awesome. no tech- if it works, it works. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell you what, it'd be fun is to go to a tournament like those live. We've got to go, oh, Ali yeah. Pally, because that would just like just the uh, atmosphere, dressing up, yeah. getting pissed, just cheering. It's the on your bucket list. Eh? Championships would be good, but they have it over um, Christmas, New Year, oh, all they? the time. So it's like everyone's obviously off over in the UK, and yeah. it's awesome for them. But trying to travel there is a bit of a pain in the ass. You know, it's like, difficult for us. The idea of that, and like obviously, there's so many sporting events that we still need to tick off that we love at yeah, home. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, like it'd be cool eventually if this keeps going in a couple of years to do like a Reggie sports tour, like as in oh, go to the darts yeah. and mm. then go to like a different fucking yeah, just Reggie prime, like man. golf hole, the party hole at Live or something. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> just that go. sort of shit's cool. Man. We uh I'm pretty sure that the test we'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah. But the test schedule come out for Australia v India it did oh, this yeah. summer. Yep. So actually I had a good yarn with a taxi driver on the weekend about it. Just come right out of his shell. So yeah, there's a cricket yeah, mate yeah, yeah. and just boom. Me and love him were just it. They love it. Oh, it's great. It's you awesome. can tell he was just pumped. Yeah. Misses in the back just going, here we go again. You fucking <laughs> hit everyone up. <laughs> yeah, well fuck me. Mm. Yeah, how are we looking? And... How are we looking? Yeah, I'll get we'll talk about it in a minute. Let's just get into the into the footy, eh? Is that yeah, was that yeah. it? Yeah, that was it, mate. Streeter. It was just Cameron Streeter. Right. Shout out to him. Cheers, Street. Um yeah, we'll get into the into the NRL first, eh? Um we'll talk a little bit about the Bronx Rabbits, but it was it feels so long ago being on Thursday. Yeah. yeah. All I want to say is while she started really well and the Rabbits are in big trouble. Mm, big I trouble. Think. Mm. Like internally. I don't know what I agree. The fuck there's culture go issue. On. I don't know if uh Dimitri is the right bloke. Yeah, that post game interview from the trail was, that was just another weird. Was- to sum up the first two rounds and then have that was like, what the fuck? That, that was one just, of your, he's not the captain, but he's one of your main leaders. Like, was it, I don't team. know whether he was just frustrated and like pissed about the game. So he tried to do the opposite yeah, thing. Yeah, but he had and a smile like, on his face. That's what I mean. Yeah. Act like he didn't care and, you know. It was, yeah. it was very strange. And he hasn't been like, even had a slap on the wrist for that either. Oh. No, it was is, just. Uh, with what's going on here at the moment with it all, yeah, is it a thing where he's trying to, I don't know, test the boundaries and see what's see what's going on? But whatever it is, 
it's it's different. Like, and it sounds like a hypocrite me saying swearing like that because we swear all the time. But the difference is. Kids actively watch him and look up to him as a he's role a paid model, professional yeah, but he's, player. Yeah, and it's a different story if you slip an f bomb out. Mm. Heaps yeah, of people do it. Fucking he, yeah, all the heaps, time. Of, heaps of footy players, and, do and they'll it. go, oh fuck, well, it's the most rugby league thing ever. But he fucking but actively come out. doing it and saying, I'm yeah. swearing, rah rah. You I'm go, well, man, whatever. like, what are you, what are you trying to get out of it? Obviously, yeah, he's yeah. got the shits about something, and but I just don't think if you're going to do that, just don't get an interview at all. Yeah, just exactly. Say, nah, agree. man, I'm not getting interviewed. Yeah, and then people can say, "Oh, it's straight after the game, and that after a loss, you shouldn't be interviewing them." Then, but that's your part of your job. You've got to have but a cool it's, head. It's not You've like anything to... serious happened to him that game. Why yeah. they shouldn't interview him? Though, that's right. right. He just yeah. they lost. But I mean, you know, he's got. If you're not in the tried, right, didn't he? if you're not in the right <laughs> mental space to be taking an interview just after say the game no or something, just yeah. say, "No, nah, I can't." Yeah, but yeah. anyway, um, I just thought it was a bit strange, and he probably. Yeah, needs to pull his head in a bit there. Definitely. Uh, the doggies were pretty, like a bit better, but they faded away late. Yeah, but I they did think they were better. String mm. together eighty minutes of good football. Yes, mm. I tell you what was good for the like from a if you're a Sharks fan, is even at the end of the game when um, uh, they were up. I think it was what the end final score twenty five six. Yeah, mm. so they were up twenty four six. Hines wanted to kick a field goal to sort yep. of seal it, and he would like he ended up kicking it. But he didn't get the ball quick enough, and mm. they like put the camera on him, and you could lip read him, and he's clapping his hands, going, "Get me the fucking ball!" Like even yeah. after he's kicked it, yeah, like you could just tell just that intensity. I think he's in, in the mood. Yeah, I think he's it's in the for mood. A big year, yeah. I think with the dogs too, though. Like I'm not sitting here going, "Oh, they're gonna be, they're gonna come back and that," but Eels Sharks is not an easy first yeah. two rounds. No, so they're playing the all. Titans this week, and yeah. I reckon this is their chance to go right. We yeah. fucking had a couple of hard games. But they're two quality sides, like scored a fair few points against Penrith and that, Eels. Yeah. So the key for me is Saturday, 2 p.m., Belmore. Me too. <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that's a coming up. Big mm. thing. But um, a couple of players, <coughs> like they need their stars to all stand up, obviously. I think Kickout killed it. He had a yeah. great first half, mm. but you need more of that. You need the team to gel. What I happened know. to Adokar? Did he get hurt? In round In one. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Game. yeah. Um, Spoke to the uncle too about the current Preston yeah, situation. What's your, what's your reckon? He said, quote, no, nah, not quote, tell Tom to pull his head in. Preston got players play out last year. Right. <laughs> At the Bulldogs. <laughs> At the fucking Bulldogs. <laughs> but Curran's Six been coming on playing it. front row and he's been going pretty well. Yeah. So, so it's like I didn't really know where he was, but, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, the Raiders, they look all right. They look yes, right, but it's milk. hard again. Another one hard to judge with who they've played. Mm. It is. I cool. think uh, who they got this are week? up in Canberra though. They did play the Knights. The Knights backed it up with fucking. I don't think that game's coming up, out, yeah. <clears throat> and that was a sh- fucking shit game. Playing it the Braves, yeah, a, a lot shit of game. lot of silly mistakes. But yeah, this is well. a good test for them to go to New Zealand and play the Bros because even though the Bros lost, that was game of the round. Yeah, that 100%. was the quality fucking of it. All... Everything about it was game of the round. They're unlucky not to win, so I think they're up and about this week. Yeah, yeah. Was surely. Yep. Um, but yeah, the cows and knights, man. It was a great finish, but it was just Golden not a good game of football. No, especially that last like ten minutes. A couple of the errors and decisions made, mm. like in key moments, you just went, "What the fuck are you doing?" Mm. Deering going for a little grubber, yeah, like fifty meters out. You're like, not when the was that game. ever the play? But yeah, a lot of errors. Um, Cowboys. Came home strong, probably lucky to even get the win there. Oh, very. Both sides would have been lucky to win. That's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was one of those ones where I was at the festival, no service, obviously couldn't watch it, but I was just going, I looked when I got back to the like, hotel and I went, yeah, of course. <laughs> like when I just went, fuck it, I'm going to go to the Knights, like against yeah, the grain, yeah, get one yeah. back early. Nah. Well, that was Fuck. perfect opportunity for them if they played half decent. And watched the have... highlights to them and went, ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. fuck Adam off. Elliott's try where yeah. he fucking ran through drink water was one of the softest defensive efforts I've seen from an NRL player, man. <laughs> mm. Like I'll happily sit here in my bar still and say that. <laughs> he literally let him walk through. It's like, drinky, you are way more solid than that. Mm, big drink. I think he's a bit of an A-grader. 
Yeah, he definitely yeah. is. Whereas you look at Elliot, he's got Reggie potential. Oh, Elliot. There's a lot. Apparently yeah, he's got a huge sword too. <laughs> Does he? Just, yeah. Wow. Apparently they call him the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just, uh, oh, I don't want to say that actually. Dating, I was going to say. Millie Boyle. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to mention that too. Yeah, Millie's not silly. <laughs> She'd be happy. <laughs> She sussed the sheriff out, mate. I felt she his badge. Sussed the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> right, the storm was unbelievable finish, but look, game of the round for me. Where that the theatre of that finish, like surely that's got to be up there with one of the best finishes. That of all is time. one of the best finishes of all time, mm. let alone the circumstance that it was as well. Like yeah. it just makes it like you watch that as a highlight, you'll go, "Holy fuck!" Yeah. Like. When NRL wants to promote the game in Vegas next year, show that Play fucking that try. With 10 but seconds let alone that yeah. it was 10 seconds ago to win the game. That's right. Like just that Crazy. try alone as a highlights package, people go, whoa. So but everyone will win it. Talk about um, the moment. Some moments might have been bigger. Mm. Like, um, hate bringing this up, but felt scoring in the 2015 grand final. That's right. A second to go. But yep. like that was an awesome try, but that wasn't that. He you walked in I mean? for like, a finish. No, I it think, wasn't the, I the, think way... the key word to say that's one of the best finishes in a situation you've ever seen. Yeah. And not tries. Because, like, obviously, tries coming off the back of like crazy flick passes. Oh, and like yeah. Fucking elusive. Something and chip that. and chase like Lockyer and Billy. <laughs> yeah, years yeah, ago. yeah. Something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. where but it that, just rips a game yeah. wide open. But that like, finish was oh, just great shape. Like, and then he dove from five meters out. And, mate, <laughs> what's yeah. that? DWZ cannot do anything. Couldn't have done anything. He fucking hit him like hip height. Full sprint, and he knocked him. himself out. Like, yeah. <laughs> finally, a winger who just was there. That's right. <laughs> Normally, the dumb fucks tackle in the center with the center, <laughs> but, but <laughs> just being a dead set winger. <laughs> but he was there, and That's coach right. just dove over him. Yeah. Like, it was uh, nothing you can do in that situation. Psycho. It was psycho. impressive, mate. Like, You'd just be absolutely like there would have been people that would have had multis on. Oh. And they've uh, they've gone down because of that, or got up. Oh, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. imagine if that you, that was your last leg, and it, you tip the storm to win three and a half. Yeah, and coach to score. Oh, mm-hmm. anyway, shout out to them. Who, nah, that, whoever they were, because it wasn't me. But that's <laughs> shout out to the people who were at that game in that like, corner. Yeah, oh. like just just being there for the atmosphere of that sort of finish. And being able to say you're there live for those yeah, sporting that's events, a moment you'll fucking. Can you actually just real. flick to like? Fuck, what would it be? Round eight, maybe? Yeah. Because they play each other in the Anzac Day game most years. Yeah, they do. Uh, they does that say the 25th of April? Anywhere around there? 25th of April, yep. So they're so, not doing it? No. The really? Dragons are still playing the Roosters? Yeah, yep. the Storm, Dragons versus Storm Roosters. play the Warriors in that traditional... They month. usually play at Amy Park as Anzac well. Anzac night. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. who's playing? Is there another fixture instead? Warriors are playing at home against the Titans at on two, Anzac Day, two p.m. Anzac mm. Day. Right, maybe and they've then, gone yeah, Dragons Roosters. To that repay. just come to me then. Like I don't know why yeah. they haven't stuck with that. That's probably repaying. They could have just done them versus Melbourne again, but Wars during COVID and that they've said here have an Anzac well, they could Day have game fucking at home. Taken Melbourne. That's over what I, there. Yeah, they could have easily <laughs> taken Melbourne over. Yeah, there. that is weird. Anyway, Interesting. they've got rid of that tradition. Yeah, that one had didn't last long. Um. The uh, the Chooks and the Eagles was game of the round for me until they kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had so much potential. Fucking sold out, Brookie. Perfect. Like, that Sunday Arv. Sunday Arv. And Jace just fucking blew oh, the I pee just, out of the whistle. Oh, I oh, just love blowing that whistle. <laughs> I oh. was looking. I was. <laughs> I was actually trying to check at the festival to watch it. Like I was yeah. going to the bar, like up the top, fucking seeing if <laughs> I could get onto the, the and, yeah, if you get onto KO, yeah. no good. Because I was like, that was the game that I personally was looking forward to the yeah. most. Man, it, so like, I didn't miss. Didn't Chooks miss this. weren't good. Let's yeah. be honest. But fuck, they got some rough calls. Like six agains on the fourth tackle while Manly are attacking like three or yep. four times. And I'm just like, what was that for, Jace? Mm. I'm yet to see myself ref a good game, eh? <laughs> like every we'll just fucking, fucking time. Better, mate. I know. I'm trying, boys, <laughs> but <laughs> it's fucking not as easy as it Should looks. Should we pay for yeah. him to do some courses or something? Oh, <laughs> How give to give myself two and refing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just so many six agains and penalties for the Eagles. And like they were ended up being better. 
And honestly, for about 60 to 65 minutes, this one's going to hurt you. But every time Ola Kawatu got the ball, it I thought he was going to score. Every single right. time. Not once or twice. Every time he got it, I went hill school. Every multi <laughs> I ever put on with, like in a manly game, for the rest of his career, I will put him in. Because the way that they just – I Tom and I are very – Obviously, love a second row try scorer, but it's almost like their shape every time is a well, fuck going out the back short to Olakuwatu. I know they do when it all the time. More than any other team hits a second rower, they do. But with it's Smolde. because it's because look how fucking big he is, mm. and then they run the same shape. If yep. old mate fucks off to slide. They give it to him. That's if right. he stays, they pass. It's as simple as that. It's simple as that, but I feel like they hit him more hmm. than like oh, I, mean, I thought option. they were too. I would yeah. too. But that was yeah. on Sunday when he was up against Kiri. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Kiri. Oh, just Bro, had no chance. He would have had nightmares on fucking Sunday yep. night. Yeah. It was seriously, it was just relentless. Yeah. And every time he got, and they had so much footy down there too. I know, it was right? Psycho. Every time he touched the balls, <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, definitely we'll be covering it. that in the punch show. Yeah, yeah. tune in he's, Thursday. You Friday. will be getting. Actually, I think Jace will be getting the whole way because yeah. he's multiple. just been <laughs> fucked. I'm sore, boys. In multiple it's, ways. I, I was almost going to stand up this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, um, and apparently the Dolphins are just fucking killers. <laughs> yeah, now, I that? think the Dragons fans have realised that they're not in an alternate universe. No, that's right. The they're weekend. still on a high after round one, but uh, yeah, brought them back. I down reckon to they Earth. probably took a deep breath after the game and went, oh, "Everything's all good again." <laughs> <laughs> you think balance is restored? <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's more of an indication of how bad the Titans are? I was thinking that, and we'll find it's out. It's just this a weekend. battle of who's the shittest. Oh well, honestly, we're going to find out because dogs have scored two tries in two games. Yeah. And yeah, make sure you're not doing anything at two o'clock Saturday. <laughs> it's going to be a ripper. Oh. <laughs> oh, anyway, we'll get into the the, uh, the tips in a bit. Yes, yep. we'll uh, we'll cover the AFL first because Sounds there was some us. fucking there was again there was. Probably more should have happened than there was shouldn't have. Yeah. You know what I mean? In I the winning mean. department. That's right. So another good week. Not so much for me. I only got five. What did you get? Six. I got, nice. let me check. I think I got six as well because I know Frio fucked me. Yeah, a t- tough trip to Perth, yeah, boys. Yeah. And Colin. <laughs> tough trip to Perth. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you fucking called that. Anyway, um, We'll start with Thursday night. You had cracker. Carlton versus Richmond. That was a cracker because cracker. they're both injury-ravaged teams mm. and it was still very close. Um, Carlton get away with the win. Pretty lucky, I thought. Huge win f- for me because now they've won one by one point, sorry, and five points, wasn't yeah, it? That's and right, now yeah. they got the bye. Yeah, like, true. If those two games are flipped by a fucking kick, yeah, all of a sudden they're they go into two, that bye going into the fucking bye. Fucking Exactly like the Lions do now. down, yeah. Oh, and two. That's right. Not good. Um, one thing that stood out for me from that game, and I've seen it a few times, how versatile Charlie Kerno can be in that, like, dying moments of a close game. Because mm. you see, he's fucking a common medalist, and you can move him into the back line, and the way he just shuts down that ball and that, like, forward 50 is something else. Because he's used to being a forward. He's not used to trying to mark a man, he's obviously trying to get away from him. Yeah. So I feel like he takes that approach into the defence and just goes for intercepts every time. Yeah, And yeah, it's just yeah. perfect. He's he, not really – I thought you were going to say he, like, tries to think what the attacking yeah, forward's probably that, thinking. Yeah, probably that too. He probably knows as well. Yeah. And he, but he's so solid to just throw back to yeah. fucking ice out of the game. Cause That's good to have, He did eh? so well to, like, a couple intercept marks here at the end, which saved him from yeah. Richmond easily kicking a game winner, I thought. Uh are Sydney the real deal or what? Oh, Sydney look good. The collie wobbles look, look shit. The very fuck's bad. Going the dog's eyes, man. They are just uh, premiership yeah. hangover. What? Yeah, oh, fucking two. Someone might have fucking. T- <laughs> Oh, yeah. I want to not put them in the eight. It's um, oh, the premiership hangover. The early crowd. Oh, no They're going to win next week now. <laughs> no one has um, 
gone back to back, defended their <coughs> premiership after going 0 2. Yeah. Long last year, uh, Hawks 2009, mm. North Melbourne in 2000. Like it's kind of hard for them to have a great season after this. Was that three stats he's nailed or was that just Jace? I think they've been nailed. Well done, brother. Mm. Fuck. Um, I'm going to write this week for once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck you up the name, mate. Don't worry. You know what happened? Wait, that can't be right. What? What can't be? I'll just say it anyway. No, 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 no. That's no, what no, I do. Don't no, overthink no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was something about uh, the first time that it's ever happened that the both the grand final teams have lost their opening two. Oh, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Like yeah. random stats guy sort of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah something yeah, you yeah. just shouldn't know. Tell you what, that, he... I don't know how he finds those stats. You know who I'm talking about? The random <laughs> I, stats guy. Yeah, I think I do. Off, yeah. Like he's, it's NRL stats, but some of the random shit he finds, I'm like, how mm. the fuck does your brain even think I, about looking for he that? He probably just makes the stat up in his head and, and then, then goes looking up. for it. That's yeah. true. Do you reckon that's happened? It I'll would Google take it. so Unlike much me, time. Just say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you. Yeah, good on you. Couple of standouts. Uh, Chad Warner. I thought he killed it. The Chad, especially. Um, that goal he kicked, I think it was he intercepted it inside the forward 50 and slotted one in his uh, deadly TN boots. Did you see them? Nah. <laughs> you know, like the Ashe TN shoes? Oh. Like the big bright. They're like, you see the Ashe right. with I'm the not. bum bags fucking rocking around. I'm sure a few listeners know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Nike's yeah, released Like these younger boots. ones, you reckon? Yeah. yeah okay. Nike's uh, released these deadly are you, are boots. Are you in the Ashe game? Or? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Dad. Nah, I reckon. Uh, Collie wobbles are going to get picked apart by all the uh, so-called experts this week. Yeah, you definitely. watch them. You watch them all find footage of someone jogging when they should have been sprinting. Yeah. Oh, they'll like try to find walking, a reason. Walking like the when they should have been running. They'll go yeah, and they'll just be in normal. Yeah, so. they'll be fucking ripping into them. And you know what? Uh, don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's they deserve it. They can cop it. Uh, yeah, they'll get a lot of questions asked, but who cares? Yeah. Uh, bombers versus your Hawks group. Mate, the boys... It was a cracking game of It footy. actually was. It if was awesome. Use were just a bit more accurate. Yeah. You would have we fucking We lost the won. game because we couldn't kick straight. Just couldn't kick straight. That's all I think at one to. point we had That'd be a pain in the ass. three goals 11 or something. Well, you yeah. rather, would you rather lose like that or just be way worse? Like nah, that was good. Yeah. I was pumped. Like at least just, you have, you're if in you the were situation. a top four team, you'd probably be, you'd pissed, be pissed off. Pissed. But for like you're going into the season with not much expectation. The thing so. that shit me was players that played in the three premierships Luke Bruce, Jack Gunston, they missed three sitters between them. Mm. Yeah. Like, oh, and then, um, oh, what's his name? Ch, 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 Chewy, Chewy. Anyway, played in the forward line for us. He missed an absolute dolly straight away. Mm. But then he kicked a couple, took a good mark. So it was like, eh. yeah. Essendon ended up being too good, but. It was literally a mate, case of Essendon were really accurate. If they kicked 17 and 5. If they couldn't wipe the floor. With a young undermanned Hawks, then they are not going to That's be right. competing in September. So no, I don't think anyone has them. More of a in must September. win for them. Yep. Uh, GWS versus Ruse. I don't want to talk about this too much. Um, <laughs> oh, nothing. what's that? Do they beat them by? Oh, 39. Oh, I flogged them. Oh, yeah. Um, nearly, nearly 40. Pants nearly, them. nearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, got the job done as they should have. Probably should have been a bit better. Uh, just Jesse won. Hogan kicked a bag. You know what? If you this is gonna piss you like a lot. Probably. If you does this give you what happened in the game? No. Nah. No. Nah. So uh, with not long to go, I think they'd kicked seventeen goals twelve or something. Mm. And then they ended up kicking or sixteen twelve and they ended up kicking seventeen nineteen. Mm. So so. Yeah, I didn't look much at that game. It was a bit busy. I know so I they just kicked, saw the I score. definitely know they kicked seventeen oh. nineteen and I'm Fucking, I saw the highlights and late in the fourth, they'd only kick 12 behinds or something mm. or 14 behinds and I'm going, That makes me fuck. so happy. It would make me sick. If you listen to the pun show, you're aware of my distress right now. The uh, Geelong St Kilda was the match of the round. That was a fucking ripper of a game. That man. was a Mighty belter. Catters. Great win to start. Danger, kicking one from outside 50 with a minute to that go was to win the game. That was class, man. From your captain, I was nervous because I feel like with Danger's set shots, he's either slotting it like yeah. he did or he's spraying it 50 metres wide yeah. into the crowd. So, But fuck, he did well there. I was uh, obviously great game, all the best, but 
I've tipped the Saints, and you know those games, a bit like the Knights for you, Tom. You've tipped against the home side down where they're, you know, pretty dominant against usually. Against the rain. And then anything could have fucking happened in that last two minutes. Anything. And you just, uh, <clears throat> and every just other cunt, short. of course, Yeah, they're like, why the fuck yeah. did you tip them, dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, nah, Kidding Your game. Park might become a fortress Might be again. back. How's this Joel Selwood stand? Good yeah, on Yeah, I know, right? That. It's fully, stadium's had redevelopments for ages now, fully mm. done, and fuck, it looks good. Looks prime. It's sold it out. Um, I definitely dare say I'll be down there sometime this year to go watch a game because yep. on the bucket list, of course, I've only been to Geelong once. We drove through for like a couple of hours. So definitely want to go there considering uh, Jaden, my oldest brother, seven legger. He lives in Melbourne. So <laughs> just duck down. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, is it five, six, and seven legger or what's the fucking with the three boys? It's got to be. So that's that's it. Well, Jordy's six, Jaden's seven. No, nah, who's the oldest? Jaden. Okay, yeah, so that makes seven. Sense. Yeah, Is right. he? I thought Jordy would have been the oldest. No, nah, sure. he's the middle child, but he looks like he's five years older than him. <laughs> that is fucking great. Um, is that Joel Selwood stand like a little bit on the piss? You reckon? Like when his right shoulder used, oh. to, <laughs> used to duck into every fucking tackle. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> That's actually a great shout. Oh, I admit he was a ducker and it fucking worked. Um, Fuck it out. And then Suns versus Crows. Uh, yeah, I literally have oh, written in dude. my notes, insert sad crow from Tom. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is another one. Fuck. Taylor Walker was out and I was like, fuck, I should change my tip. We had, um, we had a good friend of the show <laughs> message us on Instagram about, oh, you know, Tex is out, fucking should change a tip. And I went, nah. I'm not doing it because mm. Munster was out last week. Yeah, and it's true. One. It's bad juju, man. Yeah. So anyway, never change it. Uh, look, not the not the great, oh, not the worst thing that could have happened to the Crows. Is that like the sixty fifty four? Is that a lot of missed goals? Is that just good defence? Is that like what the Suns what? were? That was that shouldn't have been that close. Yeah, Suns were Adelaide, pumping them. At Adelaide one point. kicked a fucking heap in the sort of the last half of the third quarter. And yep. then the fourth quarter, they fucking come right back into it yeah. and end up being a good game. But yeah, right yeah, I reckon that they'll be right. They'll be right. They just had a couple of key outs and uh, That's right. going so, to the Goldie too. Boy, someone someone travel. said that I should, and everyone else is probably thinking, fuck no. But someone said that I should do like a recap of the Crows game every week. Like actually <laughs> oh, look up some stats so I can like run them through the fucking <laughs> what happened and where the boys are sitting. We'll go shit. through the other eight games and then we'll let you take one. No, like not, not today, but like in the future, I'll just have. <laughs> Analyze the Crows yeah, yeah, game and just hit you with what I reckon. Like, watch, don't <laughs> tell us when you're going to do it either. No, watch, no, just watch fucking, the mini. And yeah, then, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that'll be me homework <laughs> in the AFL section. So because someone's like put up a thing of Homer Simpson sitting at work and says, "Tommy, when the <laughs> oh, boys yeah. start talking about <laughs> AFL, sleep in the yeah, control room." Yeah, 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 I so did see that. I think next week I'll fucking I'll hit you with a bit of stats. Yeah, that that's happened. a that's not true. You're you're into it. Fuck it. Fucking I just, loves I've been, I haven't got to watch fucking any NRL either, by yeah, the way. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, But anyway, I just thought it was funny. It might be a funny addition. And yes. what about <coughs> the tough trip west? Oh, west. oh <laughs> he's called it. Fucking it's tough great right going west. It is. No Lockie Neal. Coleman done the knee in round one. That's right. He's gone for the season. And then that loss now... After last week being up by 46 and losing, mm -hmm. that hurts, eh? Like, it's uh, we're only a dark just saying, place that they're in after two rounds. Like Not many people can win the comp unless you make the top four. And yeah. to make the top four, you've got to win a lot of fucking games of footy. That's right. So to go Starting the first two, two is uh, it's not, not easy. Good. And Collingwood play Lions Easter Thursday, I think, True. that weekend. So... Well, they'll obviously both play this weekend, so they'll want to win and fucking get a bit of momentum behind them. Otherwise, it's going to be a fucking tough one. Mm, have we got the traditional Geelong Hawthorne Easter Monday clash? Oh, sure. I haven't checked, but fucking surely they'll surely. never get rid of that. Wait, Grubbs, who's that young fellow, the first draft pick? Like Harley Reid. Harley Reid. He had oh. eight touches in the first quarter. Looked all right, but uh, I think he kind of. Settled, not bad. I think he had 16 touches and like five clearances yep. by the end of the game, which isn't horrible for a debut in a 50 point loss. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yep, yep, yep. still a lot of fucking footy for he the kid. He plays play. for West Coast. Yeah, right. Um, not Frio. But yeah, no, sweet. I just didn't know if we'd um, gone past him or not. Quickly, um, Melbourne. Ooh. Did you see 
Clayton Oliver's Big game. Big Clayton got 35 <laughs> touches. 35 touches. Back oh, to his best, best man. Unreal. Like The way he played was like watching him the year they won the flag. Yeah. He was like, he's just gone, get Have fucked. we got – oh, no, we can't say that. Just say no. it. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, we could just have Ben Cousin 2.0. Ooh. <laughs> Brownlow's oh. medal season incoming. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Not, your... not to the extent. No. No. Of the usage. Yeah. Like footy, yep. this, hopefully. Footy skill. Yeah, footy but skill. I'm talking about the off season he had. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now come back Me on, too. fuck up all you cunts, so I can still play footy. Will mm. he do it but every then, off season? But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he train in blocks? Hey, yeah. Like, Plato, Plato, <laughs> run your own race, brother. <laughs> 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 fuck him. Um, <laughs> to answer your question, Gropes, yes, we have the Easter Monday clash. Beautiful. As Beautiful. always, at the G. Yep. Beautiful. Um, well, did we miss any games? I think we got them all. No, with the, with the Melbourne, it. we missed. Yeah, Melbourne or Port one. versus West Coast. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was uh, the only talking point I really could think of was Harley Reid's debut. Mm. Besides that, Port won by fifty as they should have. Yeah, bit of an easy one. Possibly a little bit easier, I think, this week. I know West Coast play at home. So, you know, it might be a bit easier for them, obviously. They, the crowd are going to turn out. But they take on yeah, the Giants. Yeah, I know, but it's a long <laughs> trip west. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, at home, I reckon the crowd will turn out. Cause it's, oh, for sure. You know, it's their like, first home game of the year. And so him, definitely for him. Yeah, you know, that's to right. He'll this, be a big attraction. The number one draft pick, boys. For sure. <laughs> um, bit of cricket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's not too much cricket. Going on, we've got the Sheffield Shield final this week starts, I think it might start Thursday. Two best sides all year, obviously. They finished first and second. Uh, Matty Wade's last game of long-form cricket. He hangs up the oh, true. Hangs up the gloves for the four-day and test cricket yep. formats. Yep. Who's in it? Sorry, mate. Who's uh, the WA and Tassie. Oh, yeah. So I'm on Tassie to send off Matty w. Wade. WA and Tassie. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I know, I know. You can never keep up with Sheffield. New South Shield, Wales, though. they were up there for most of the year. Uh, Queensland finished last. Oh, not no. A, not, a good, not a good Ooh, season for, on, the, for the balls. But uh, we'll, we'll blame that, you know. Usman, mm. Labashane, M- yeah. Mickey, Mickey Neeser nice. didn't play too That's many. Right. But, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Brizzy Heat's still um, one big bash, so. Mm. I've got a little, I've got to give Elise Perry a wrap, take a bow. The WIPL was on, and look, you haven't heard us cover this, and we won't be covering much of the IPL either because it's 2020 cricket. That's it's right. It's a domestic T20 cop yeah, who I don't cares. I really care. Um, but in the Challenger, a knockout game, or at least it was a finals game. I didn't actually see if it was a knockout game, but I think it was. She took the best ever figures in the history of the WIPL, six for 15 off four yeah, overs. It's fucking unreal. Eh? And then goes out and steers them home with 40 not out. Wow. Next game, definitely a knockout game. Makes 60 off 55 to post a total for her team. And then in the final, her side bowled Delhi out cheaply. Um, but she went out, iced the game, 35 not out. What a fucking superstar. Take a bow. I get so pumped talking about her because she deserves it all, you know. She's, she's been a fucking nation's in and trainer. around the whole, like she's been, oh, Lise Perry, Lise Perry for so long now. Yep. And she's just still so good. Still performs. Still good so honor. good. So good on her. Um, boys, big news today. This morning, uh, Tom, I know you got sent something by a friend of the show, but Keith Thurman. Mm. Pulls out of the fight with Tim Zhu, replaced by a big long Nuffy, and now Tim will yeah. <laughs> defend his super welterweight title. And there's another belt on the line. So, Georgie, give me a ring on the way in. He mm. said, Tommy, have you recorded yet, mate? I said, yeah. no, no. And he I've goes, got to oh. get onto him, actually. And he said, thank fuck, because I've just got something I need you to play. So, um, can I just give it a run, mate? He just sent it through to me personally. Well, it's been a massive 24 hours here at No Limit Boxing. Um, as everyone saw the big news, Keith Thurman out injured. Tim Zhu was looking at having his fight absolutely cancelled in the States. We've been lucky enough to turn that around in the last 24 hours. He's now fighting for not one, but two belts on the 30th of March, 31st of March here in Australia. Um, so he's got Sebastian Fundora now. I think the Fundora fight is a hell of a fight. It's a tough fight. I believe Tim beats absolutely everyone in the world. So I'm backing Tim always. But 
I do know that this is a very hard fight. Sebastian Fundor is the hardest guy in the division. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great fight though. We get two belts out of it. So Tim's putting his w, WBO belt on the line. Sebastian Fundora was in line for the WBC belt. It's now available for Tim Zhu. So we're going for two belts on the 31st of March. Watch live here in Australia, main event KO. Um, and hell of a day, but we're here. I think we're at a better result. We're at a better result. Two belts is better than one, always. Mm. Yeah, there so, you go. so I think he must have put it on his Instagram after as well. But um, Yeah, but Georgie does that. We help each other out. He's yeah. the manager of the RLC. So yeah, that's right. Exactly. You know, that's right. So he feeds us the info. Uh, but so, yeah, Sebastian Fundora. Now, there's a bit of stats about this praying mantis, if he you haven't so seen him. big, long. Mate, fucking he is 197 centimetres tall mm, with a 203-centimetre reach and weighs 69 kilos weighs in to that. fight. Yeah, <laughs> weighs in at 69. That's fucking that ridiculous, man. Like, makes 69 kilos to fight. Obviously, he'd fucking put some Probably kilos on, but... eighty. Mate, I showed like have a have a Google of him if you haven't seen him already. The fact that yeah, he this bloke must eat the same amount as a fucking jockey to yeah. stay like that. Everyone, the frame man. Everyone would have seen. So when Zoo fought Mendoza, was it that his last fight or has he had? Yeah, one no, after? that's his last fight. So when oh, Zoo fought, yeah, it is, isn't it? Mendoza Zoo's fight, last fight was that the last person he I'm fought? I'm pretty sure oh, we were at Bowen sure. for it. Yeah. That was October to, last year. Like yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, he's – you would have seen the highlights of Mendoza knocking this praying mantis out. Yeah, yeah. Because that's all they showed. Yeah, that's right. Was Mendoza absolutely sleeping this guy. That's so. right. So, it, But that's the only loss this guy's had is yeah. the one to Mendoza. So, And you look at his frame and you must go, yeah – he must just stick outside the range, just pick at him, the whole thing. But he's got 20 wins, 13 KOs, one yep. loss and yep. a draw. So he fucking has a crack. And I watched some highlights of him, obviously still a casual as fuck boxing fan. Yeah, so yeah. it's not like I just knew this cunt's history. Yeah. So I did, did a bit of reading up on him and that. And it's fucking crazy, man, how big he is. Like Tim's given up, given up a 23-centimetre height disadvantage and 24 centimeter in reach that's fucked Fuck yeah. so obviously he's going to get hit with a lot of punches coming in on the inside but mate i think if mendoza has the power to knock him out we saw what happened in that fight with yeah tim. yeah yeah tim right. has the power to knock him out it's just um yeah it's it's more like i suppose you go who do you get to spar but i suppose you just get someone heavier that's got that range yeah yeah to, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah. spar but there's only a couple of weeks like, that's what I like mean. He can prep. Yeah, been preparing been for one bloke for so long. Yeah. 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 Now, is old mate Orthodox or South? He's Southport as well. Right. Which, okay. which like fucking makes it harder yeah. as well. Yeah, I but suppose. wasn't. Is that what was Thurman? Oh, oh no. fucks me. Didn't know enough about Thurman. I thought. Uh, I thought he was because that's massive too. Like you've been training yeah. for Thurman for fucking yeah, oh, three man. months. It's uh, good on him for just taking it. Honestly, off. oh yeah. Hats in my off. fuck all casual opinion that I don't know much about boxing with, I just think Timmy gets the job done. Orthodox. Ah. Oh, it was Thurman Orthodox. Orthodox See, yep. so he's fighting a big long Southport. Southport. Yeah, so that's fuck like the complete me. different, isn't it? But um, I I reckon Timmy gets the job done by knockout. Yeah, it's yeah. Just yeah, the yeah, focus yeah, yeah. in his eyes at the moment and just what he's doing. Yeah. You just go. I think. You know, gaining confidence in what he did to Mendoza and watching what Mendoza did to the praying mantis. Mm. I think, um, yeah, gets it done. But exciting stuff, like two belts potentially yeah, yeah, that yeah, he can yeah. walk away Could from be, instead yeah. of no more than he already and had. And one of them is a WBC belt. Which yeah, is, a new one. I don't know. Could be even bigger for Zoo. Oh, dude, I don't know Who what belt's what better than what fucking is. belt. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, sweet as. I'm fucking keen as. It's yeah. gonna, uh, and it's Easter Sunday. It'll be on. Mm. Oh, Liam, yes, Liam right. Wilson fighting, I think, the day before. Yeah. So I'm super pumped for that fight, man. I'm a huge Liam Wilson fan. Um, so I really hope he can get that done to set up. I think that's pretty much like a t- world title eliminator fight. Yeah. Yep. So keen for that. Aussie boxing's in an awesome place. So it's, um, yeah. Bloody hell, absolutely. Man. We are... Uh, just quickly, a mm. bit off topic. Not really. We had the privilege of fucking getting in the ring for a few rounds. Yeah. With, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Hussain. Benjamin Hussain. Eye-opening. <laughs> Eye-opening to say the least. Mate. Um, yeah. The poor bloke. I felt sorry for him. 
in that. It was um, <laughs> it was just impressive to go like because we. He's in fight camp at the moment, fighting in yeah, a few yeah, weeks. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's like six weeks or something. It was six weeks. A bit before a week our, and a half ago. Yeah. So, so he, he's in fight camp, so he wanted to stay active. Um, interviewed him on the Alpha Blokes, which is out already, and we had to just – we're like, hey, we'll come and stand in front of you and do a bit of sort of training with yeah. you. It was just impressive that he stayed in there for 12 rounds, pretty much didn't break a sweat. Wouldn't have blown a candle out. And we were sort of <laughs> moving around, and the fact that he could just be in front of us and cut us off without actually doing that much and just stay so fluid in that, it's yeah. just impressive to watch the – you can tell when someone knows what the fuck yeah, they're doing. Yeah, so I've, up doing it. I've been saying to everyone, like, that I've told. I've yeah. just been going, it was cool for me. Because obviously, we, what did we do? Four or five rounds each. Yeah, yeah. And then we've gone, we were swapping in and out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he right. just stayed in the whole time. But where it was just crazy because he, at one point, he like backed himself up against the ropes. Yeah. For me to just go over and try and work him a bit. Yeah, yeah. And I would have thrown, at one point, I would have thrown a six punch or eight punch combo and didn't hit him once. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, and I sort of had a smile on my face, just shaking my head, going, fuck me. Like, I thought I'd been going pretty well, but <laughs> I just kept going. I just kept going when um, I'm moving around. I'm going, fuck! I feel like he's chasing me, but he's just moving a little bit. Yeah, I'm yeah, going, yeah. Fuck yeah. He just controlled the ring the whole <laughs> yeah. time, yeah, and this cool. was just all shit that he would le- have learnt over the last fifteen years. Yeah. But it was just crazy because in my head, I'm going, he knows what I'm going to do before I know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just how slow and silky he was moving, yep. his head, and just avoiding punches was fu- – it was so cool, in a man. professional and a couple of podcasts <laughs> yeah, I think, getting out there. It was so sweet. cool. I think it's cool for me to just experience that and see that sort of thing to go and, you know, know that we're just having a crack and we'll get in there and forget everything we've even learned in this bit. But just I just got a lot of respect, a lot more respect. I did have respect before, but yeah. now even training to even last two rounds and know that these dudes are doing three-minute rounds. <laughs> Rounds and like 10 or 12 of them. Yeah. yeah Holy yeah, fuck, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's just a, it is such a crazy engine that they have to have Different to yeah, fight level another person for that long. You know what you, you, I can take out of it is I can see why boxers have to have 30 fights before they go and have a fucking title fight or something. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? They <laughs> yeah. start. They start way back here fighting nobodies so mm. they can fight them for four rounds, six rounds, yeah. all that because – it, it, I know, obviously, if you've been fighting amateurs your whole career, you've done fucking 200, 200 yeah, amateur yeah. fights. You know what I mean? But if we want, if we pursued this and wanted to do it more, mm. it the the more fights you had, the easier it'd get. Yeah, like, yeah. You just think, well, like fucking Benny, how many fights have these guns had yeah. to like, get that ring? That we don't like Benny was about. saying, he just loves sparring. Like yeah. he just wants to spar, get yeah. in there, sparring and shit. He hates punching air, hates punching the bag and that. He wants to spar because yeah. he's like, that's just all you can do to make it easier for your international yeah, yeah, fight. Yeah, because you're getting hit. Which makes fucking yeah. so much sense, eh? Yeah. But no, it, that was so cool. I was very was grateful awesome. to get that experience. Fuck yeah. yeah. I'm going to hold on to that. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because it's fuck fucking pretty cool because I reckon he'll fucking be a world champion. One yeah, day, yeah, so. me too. I'm very keen to keep and then, watching him too. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I asked Barty. <laughs> Mate, coming, <laughs> off, of what, coming <laughs> off of what he's been through as well, that broken jaw against Benny Mahoney mm. a few years ago, proper split him and a lot of people saying, like, that's – you never fight again after that injury and shit. And the fact that he's um, back doing it, yeah, good yeah. shit. Anyway, that was a bit off topic. But anyway, we'll get in back into a uh, bit of UFC, boys. Mm. Start with the shit. We'll start with the shit and then we'll move into the good. Yeah, yeah. so <clears throat> Tai, tai Tuivasa, yeah, it just sucked. You know, I was mm. so pumped to watch and <clears throat> started well. Hit old mate with a beauty, sort of split him up top on the feet. Look, Ty always looks good on the feet early mm. on. Like, mm. you go, come on, here we go. Like, you're always minute. just wanting him to just wobble him, finish him off. Yeah. And, um, yeah, got taken down. And you could hear, as I always say, I know fuck all about it, but the commentators are sort of saying, like, he was trying to get up in a way that was just against all sort of movement. Like, they're sort of saying, get on your back so you can do things. But he was just trying to stand up, just getting yeah, just yeah. hammer punched. <laughs> 
rabbit punched in the side of the head yep. <laughs> and then ended up getting put in a choke and you can tell the toughness of the bloke like you could hear him gurgling like breathing mm, yeah. not tapping out to the point where he just sort of started to go out yeah 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 and you could tell how disappointed he was eh? like just fuck like yeah, getting yeah. like four losses on the trot and you sort of go like i wonder if he's always been out of bang but i wonder if these high level dudes are like fuck you i'll out bang you still and yeah. then that's where he was getting those knockouts because they're going, I don't have to wrestle you, I'll just knock you out. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. then maybe they're going, hmm, no. <laughs> Might just I'm, take him yeah, down. Take him yeah. down and just flog you. Yeah, I'll just take him down and win. So yeah. it's sort of like you go, I don't know, I just want the best for him because he's a fucking great lad. He's been such a good entertainer. Yeah. And um, yeah. I don't know. And I feel he's one like of our own as well. He's an Aussie. You can't yeah. not love him. I just want him to do what he wants to do. Like if he doesn't give a fuck about titles and that and they're still happy putting him in fights, who cares who he yeah. fights and that? But I feel like he's probably one loss away from going the bare knuckle route. I reckon he would and be probably make yeah. a heap of coin. Just oh. go there and just throw oh. fucking fists. How good would watching Bam Bam be in the oh. bare knuckle? But that would be can't. insane. That would Imagine rocking up. Yeah. Rocking up the bare knuckle and going, fuck. I've got to fight him. Yeah, but it's uh, it was disappointing, mate. You just see how much it sucks for him. And I suppose seeing how close he was, like he dropped Cyril Garn, mm. yeah. who before Jones fought was like the – He yeah. was the number one. Yeah. Yeah. He was that close to being like yeah. the world champion. Yeah. yeah. And then you go Fourth now, now he's close. out of the top ten and you go, I don't know where, where – do you go from here? I suppose it, de- it depends how many fights he signed. Yeah, you know, he might have signed a heap of them when he was on that run. Mm. When they went, fuck, let's lock this guy down <laughs> like poor for old ten fights. T Ferg. Tony Ferguson. Oh, Ferguson yeah. will be fighting when he's got a fucking hip replacement. <laughs> <laughs> signed a fifty fight contract. But um <laughs> Yeah, cat. man, like I said, I just hope that he gets to do something he enjoys doing still. I'd hate for him to be down in the dumps and just fighting because he's signed because he has to or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Whatever he wants to do, man, it was just fucking really disappointing. Like I was just hoping he got the win. To start building back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was anyway. it round one um, or two? It might have oh, been. I, I think it was round one. I think he yeah. started really strong and then got taken down and, yeah. So, yeah, so oh. not great. No. But more positive, um, other than the card itself, mm. there's an Aussie who's going to have a crack at a flyweight world title. Yeah. yeah. So Steve-o. just out of nowhere. Steve-o, from is it Urseg? It's Steve Carell. So. Yeah, yeah. It fucking <laughs> is, man. This dude is the 40-year-old virgin <laughs> who's not 40, um, <laughs> but literally looks like him. He's one of those guys, you know, we're saying like Cameron Smith. He looks like an accountant. Steve-O, you yeah. just walk straight past him in the street, let alone he just kill you. Mm. You don't know. Yeah. You wouldn't look at him and go, oh, this bloke kills people for a living. Yeah, <laughs> Steve too. Steve. This bloke's about to get a title shot at a ranked 10th in a division. But that how good is that? All this shit crumbling down. We've got Valk fucking yeah. ties going yeah. down. We're like, fuck. JDM obviously got the win. He's going up there. But Steve-O... Potentially the next Aussie world champ. Yeah, that's at true. Fucking From Aussie. that far down <laughs> the rankings. Steve-O. Yeah. I just the WA need... boy's getting it done. I think D- Jack Dell is WA. Yeah. Pretty sure. Yep. I'm just going to check something here. Keep yarning. Yeah, but Steve O coming off a very impressive win last. I think I saw something from Pantoja come out saying that he pretty much asked for one of these guys, a relatively unknown dude who's kicking ass in the is division. It because a bit of excitement. Pantoja or Pantoja, if you say it. Is it because he's just cleared out that division? Well, Moreno, prior to even being a champ, he's fought everyone, so he's like, who the fuck do I fight now? Well, I think the two major challenges he's fought. But but there's still Steve-O's 10th. Yeah, so yeah that's so far down the pecking order. But oi, I'm all about it for Steve. Fuck if yeah. If Steve flies in at flyweight, literally, no pun intended, and fucking stops this guy... Steve. Really huge. Uh, Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> fucking Steve. So, <laughs> 125 pounds is 56.7 kilos. Fuck me. Send him over to Randwick when he's done. <laughs> 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 That's what they're weighing in at. I wonder how heavy he'll be on the night. Mm. Probably fucking mid, oh, low 60s, maybe. Yeah. But that's, mate, up. that's just exciting for Australia, though. Like we said, just the, come from nowhere. The card 301 is, you, you look at it all, like, that's a. That's a co-main event on a bigger card normally, yeah. or that's a headline for a fight night. Yeah. I think because it's a championship fight, it has to be on a pay-per-view. Yeah. But if there wasn't an Aussie going for a belt, probably wouldn't watch it. 
Yeah. That's yeah. how, like, and I'll probably I might head still to a pub. watch the highlights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be fucking rooting hard for <laughs> Steve because he Steve-o. can't root because he's a virgin. <laughs> Just he's joking, f- Steve. I love you. A few episodes of The Office Don't to film kill after. <laughs> 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 no, good on him, mate. Pump for that. Yeah. That's pretty much UFC. That's going to be prime. And uh, what is it? How many weeks away is mate, fucking still, 300? I think it's still a couple because I thought there was two more fight nights before 300. You know when you look up the card and you just flick across oh, to the yeah. fights? I'm yeah. pretty sure there was another two fight nights and then there was 300. Yeah, so right. it's at least two There's weeks three worth. more. Is there? Three more and then, yeah, April 14th for 300. Yeah, there but that's go. still a month away. So it's yeah. not like it's fucking ages. Mm. No. But no, nah, that's uh No, nah, we'll good. get I reckon we'll get into that closer. Yeah, for closer sure. To it. And we'll get into Timmy Zoo and uh Liam Wilson next week. Yeah, for sure. Well. On the verge of it. Yeah. Uh let's go some footy tipping. Sounds yes. good. A bit of football tipping. Rugby so league. Can someone have you done your tips? Oh no, I'm no, doing I'm putting it, live. it in as we right, go you're doing through. It live. So I'm gonna have to do something, which is unfortunate. Because I've written mine down, but I want to get the <coughs> the team lists up. Oh yeah, the lists oh, are up. Yeah, Jay Jay Whiten, big in, big for in the Rabbitohs. Yep, Ilya. Um, Ilya just dropped. I know that it's much. Right. Mm. First game is yeah. Go the first. Brizzy one. Penrith and Penrith have no fish, and Broncos have no Renault. Yeah, no Who's Renault. In for fish? Massive. Uh, Lindsay Smith. Yeah. Big blonde. Big blonde, Big blonde, yeah. who I used to think was Zach Hosking. Um, Scotty Sorensen, is it his, his, was he back last week? Yeah, he okay. played last week. Okay, so he's he obviously maintained his spot. Yeah, he's solid. Um, I'm interested to see what you tip for this game, Grope. See if you'll uh, go the just The smart play or the dumb play. Hand over heart, the Bronx, as I will be tipping the Bronx. And, yeah, um, how good's your memory? Yeah, yeah, I know, but we had Reynolds <laughs> and it was round one. Yeah. Uh, look. It's fucking, it's go. hard because oh, surely I just don't. don't know. Like, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? It's your team. Oh, I get that. But you don't get about tipping with your brain and not with your and heart. And the one time I did this, <laughs> it fucking worked. Yeah. And the other five times <laughs> in the season that I didn't Yeah, do but it, how many times lost. will people remember that? Or will you remember that? Will you go, I fucking backed my team no matter what and it works? I'd rather be able to say that than go, oh, fuck, I why did I tip so, against my Grant, team? So, if you don't tip him, I reckon Jason's going to count. So, last you. year, <laughs> round one, I didn't. I tipped Penrith yeah, this is when nobody big, knew that what was going to go with the Bronx hmm. on that year. Fair hmm. enough. I copped that one. The other fucking four or to- five times throughout the year when I shouldn't have tipped him and I said, oh, I can't now because of round one, they fucking lost. <laughs> So you can't Penrith. So the percentages are on my side. I'm tipping Penrith. Oh, Honestly, you know what? fucking doing it again. <laughs> take it for the team. You can't. You know now why? Broncos are going to win. Take it for the team because grub. I fucking hope it means a Bronx win. It's a fucking win-win. This dog. Yeah. You've I done not... that purely to sacrifice wow. your tip and the Broncos to win. But you know what dog. I'll be doing? I'm not going to be off. sitting there. I don't there. want your tip. So I don't wanna, I'm not going to be sitting there on the couch fucking Cheering. going for Penrith. Yeah. I will be up and about going, I hope we flog these You hope you go 7 13-0. Yeah, you're a dog yeah. rooter. Anyway, well, Tom, <laughs> oh, obviously you're going Penrith. Yeah, yeah tip the Bronx right. then, cut. No, if you're it's no, <laughs> no, I, I believe me, team, mate. <laughs> Just quickly, um, <laughs> it was a wager we did last year with the jerseys. What I got on me right now? Yeah, doing it again. Oh, if you want, bro. Is I'm it just you two, or am I involved again? Well, you didn't want you didn't want to be involved in the first round, but you were after the grand final. No, I'll do it, Jace. I got the grand final right. was a different fucking story. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> well, mm. fucking wouldn't be surprised if you tipped Penrith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no, yeah I'll, I'm happy. Would have been a good yeah, tip, I'm unfortunately. So, yeah. Right, no, let's do it. <laughs> I'll just leave this in here over. Yeah, next I'll Tuesday, go. Eight. I'll train in mine all week. Right, <laughs> <laughs> get a nice and stinky. Right, out next we've got. The Waz in Canberra, is it? Yes, over there. over there. So regardless of where the game is, fucking the Raiders have played a poor Knights team and a shit Tigers team. Yeah, man. And the Warriors, apart from a freak act, should have beaten Melbourne in Melbourne last week, and it was a great game. So I reckon this is better the round. Yeah. Waz. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, mm. I think the Waz too. Yeah. it's. I don't feel like it's that simple for me. I, I, hey, think, I'm, I think – Canberra can get it done. 
But but I just think I can't just looking at what's happened the last two weeks tip Raiders with any sort of confidence. It'd just be like a. It's fucking... weird because they're two and O oh and Nawaz are O oh and two, mm. but, but we're still all have going. Faith oh, this is easy. Like, well, to Jace, me, Jace doesn't think so. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm going to go Waz, but I'm going to do the old groper each way. <laughs> don't be surprised if Canberra win this. <laughs> So I be, love that we've picked him. It's the old Grover. <laughs> so you'll be you'll be cheering for the Raiders for tipping tipping the Warriors next week. Much. Fucking told you I should have went. Should have went the milk boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, no, I think we're all all on the same page there. Righto, massive game. This is a rivalry game oh, dating back aunts. a fucking hundred years. Yeah. Um. Now, look, media all over South this week, like mm, fucking all time. over them. After two like, games. Like, what is it, Tom? Like pubes on soap. That's right. All over them. Latrell with his interview, dropping Ilias. Chooks were fucking horrid against Manly. I'm going to tip South. Expecting what? Expecting to bounce back. Oh, yeah. 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 Just wow. with the, everything that's going on, I reckon they're going to fire up and fucking Boy, win. I wonder if, because Trell and Jackie White and get along real well. They're great like, mates. fair bit. Outside of the game, go fishing, yeah, do a fair yeah, bit of yeah, stuff yeah. together. I wonder if the injection of Jackie White and Trell sort of turns it on, mm. those three. Puts him over for a few years. Yeah. Years. Maybe. Could force the Trell to step up because he's been a bit underwhelming. I oh. wish I wish fucking that they didn't drop Ilias, though. That yeah, that's, that's It is strange, fucking weird, weird after man. Two like games. He is not the sole reason. And if you're going to ax someone in that 13, it's not. Ilias, he hasn't done anything wrong. These like, blokes are just sorry. We've got to go back to the fucking Raiders. They've put Zach Hosking on the bench and started Whitehead as captain. Fuck Don't me. do that after Whoa. Zach Hosking's Hosking had a blind two yeah. great games. Oh. Scored. Anyway, fucking um, idiots. Now, I know Dean Hawkins is just the Hawker. big dick of the NRL world, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, surely he can't I be better than it. Ilias. Did it, maybe well, has Ilias fucking gone got on got on the piss on a Monday night or something and he's getting punished? It was like, announced on Monday before the, the team lists were out that he was going to get axed. Yeah, yeah, I did see it. Yeah. I wonder if it's like just for a bit to do something or are they like? I don't know. No, yeah, kick him up the ass. Like go Renault back to would fucking... be, look good in the seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good decision there by whoever the fuck let him go. Um, but you'll be shocked. To find out that Luke Keary is out with a concussion. <laughs> so, yeah, I did oh, see that actually. Big Sandon is uh, playing 5'8 and Sam Walker's playing half As much eight. as I give him shit, those two, that's not good hearing Keary. No, nah, because he's, he's had a, had a, few. a fair no. yeah. few. Yeah. And he's only, pre- isn't he, is he our age groper? Keary? I think he's, he's a, late he's 20s. A lot older than people think. I'm pretty sure he's I'm pretty sure 30. he's. He beats, I, I reckon he's either 29 or 30. Mm. Have a bit of a look. But, yeah, I'd... He's 32. I'd, oh, is he? Yeah. That's what I mean. I remember hearing a while ago that he is a lot older He'd than be, we still, thought. He'd still be getting hit up for ID. He looks fucking 18, man. <laughs> wow. Well, but, no, well, I hope it's only a fucking minor one because I know he had a fair bit of time out and they take it pretty yeah. serious a, at the Roosters yeah. too. Jake Friend, Cordner. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Cordner was a big one. Not something to joke about, eh? But uh, they've put in a like for like. With Big Sandon. Yeah, so true. I've, he might um, struggle with uh, Kalama Tungy running You know out what, Gropes? I'm, I am with you. After He's looking at the team list, seeing that Kiri's out, there's that older head steering him around the park. you got Sandy Smith <laughs> and um, Sam Walker. So Yeah. I don't I'll know. Be- I just reckon that surely with all this attention, they've got to fire up. Whiten's first game in mm. the fucking... In the green and yeah. red. Boy, okay. surely, surely Jackie Whiten plays left centre. If he doesn't, I fucking don't know anything about any sort of... Why is that? Because you got fucking Cody Walker Luttrell into AJ on the wing. True. Like, surely you'd have him on the left. He'll play against, line up against side. Manu too. Wouldn't you? Mm, That'd be a great battle. That would be a great No, you matchup. would because Campbell Graham's a right centre. And when he comes back, yep. mm. he'll slot straight back in for... Oh, who that's, is a, it? that's a nice is looking... Is Big Richie Kenner still playing or is it um, Tan Miller? Ha, nah, Tass or whatever. Oh, Isaiah Tass, that's yeah. it, yeah. Um, I'm going Roosters. I yep. don't know. This is kind of like a... Rabbit has been hard. shit. 
Roosters got the win against Bronx in round one, but they didn't look amazing. And then they obviously lost last week. So it's like not much to go off here. No. It's so, fuck all to go off. I'll just I'm, think a bit of juju yeah. with gripes. Is, uh, I'm going the juju. It's a good call, but I think I'm just going to stick with the Roosters. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. I think Kerry, Kerry being out was a big one for me, I think. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And, and, um, What's his name being in for the Rabbitohs? Fucking Whiten, Whiten, Whiten. mixing him. This with might, this next one actually might be the worst game of the round. Yeah, <laughs> like to watch. But you know how I just said the Wars might be a nice easy tip, even though the stats don't line up. Mm. Yeah, this one might be the easy one, and you're getting great odds. To me, the doggies and the oh, Titans. I, was, I yeah. thought you were about to say the Titans. I was going to say, I honestly think we're up for a dog's humping. Yeah. Right? I think they'll get their little red rockets out and just smack the Titans <laughs> straight up the dirt. I reckon two key two o'clock Belmore Saturday afternoon. Mate, stop it. The this dogs is their chance to get a yipping. win on the board. They've got the new team that have been shit so far, yeah. but... On paper, man, they look like a fucking good side. And I don't know. Titans just... pounded by the Dragons into a bye. Yeah. Not much to go. <laughs> and they <laughs> still don't have uh, Fafida. Fafida and Jaden Campbell back. But so, they uh, do have Kieran Foran back this week. They do. Which surely he's too old. Dogs. Yeah. But anyway, this I'm up to not get injured. I actually yeah, can't believe well. 34% have tipped Titans. Yeah, well. Who knows? Well, this is we had the early, week. You can't it? really say yeah. like count dragons. Ah, uh, sorry, count Titans out because they got pumped by dragons, who then got absolutely humped by the Finns. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, what the fuck do I even base that Titans game yeah, off? You that? can't. You, that, you base it off fuck all, except that yeah, it's, a it's still round three, and I don't know what the fuck I'm tipping right now. And because we had a week last week where everything happened as it should, you mm. know what's going to happen this week? Oh <laughs> yeah, you fucking rogue. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Next one, also quite easy for me, anyway. Yep. Cows. After that fucking yeah. performance yeah. last me week. Me too. You watch them come and just kick ass. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Another really Cowboys, hard Cowboys, one. Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys. 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 <coughs> this one's yep. hard as well. At uh, uh, Saturday night. <laughs> Might yeah. go the Joker. <laughs> right, yeah. So, so, little side story. Um, Keto was down in Brizzy, uh, staying at his mate's place on the weekend. The mate's... Young fella, he's put a bet on. Eyes up. This is fucking eyes up footy, this. Eyes up punting. He's put a bet on before the season started for the Sharks to be on top of the table after five rounds, after the end of round five. Oh, yeah. So they had the Warriors in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Tough. But then they had the Dogs, the Tigers, the Bye, and fuck, who's the third one? It's someone shit. Titans, I think. Oh, and it's just, it was paying twelve bucks. Raiders. Oh, true. They got Raiders in round four. He would have been okay. chuffed when and then they got a buy, and then they got the buy round five. Yeah, so they got Tigers, Raiders, buy, and I'm going. That is eyes up punting. That is a great <laughs> fucking shout. And they're always yeah. yeah I, that I must top. have missed his fucking message. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the tip? So he reckons he's sitting looking at it, going, "All we got to do is beat the Wars in New Zealand," which was obviously that's big the hardest. Ask, yeah. That is eyes up, and eh? they did it. And now oh. it's like the ball's in their court, so the Tigers will win this week. Mm. No, well <laughs> done, bro. Yeah, Great yeah I'm tipping the uh, Cronulla. So, yeah, yeah, me and too. we could be on for another fucking Mulatalo Katoa anytime sort of multi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think is Kennedy a great shout. Yeah. Yep. I think he Bill. he normally scores a few tries and he hasn't really scored any yet, has he? Mm, he hasn't been on. Well, no. I th- well, I think he'll be he's due. He's due. I think he's due. Yeah. Because uh, they don't, yeah, due. Right, oh, here we go. <clears throat> this is a great game, actually. Good game. Sunday, Sunday 4.05 at Combank. This is a fucking hard tip. He'll see. Yeah. He'll Very heels. hard tip. I need to go look at the teams right now. There you go. I'm um Eels and the Eags. I'm going Manly just because of the start they've had this year. Para don't look that bad. Olaquatu starting? Uh mm-hmm. yeah. So he went off with five to go. Uh, yeah, was he on clutching his hamstring? Nah, or something? I think he got a corky eh? Cork. Ham and your hole. Eleven <laughs> starting. <laughs> I don't know. Manly have just done it against. If they were 
beat fucking tigers and dragons in the first two rounds, you'd go, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But to come out and beat bunnies and roosters Massive, is a fucking it? big ask. Yeah. Like, if you're good enough, you'll fucking win all games. Yeah. So I think they are good enough, and I think they'll uh, beat Para this Sunday. Eels have been good as well, but, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to tip the Eels. Oh, yeah? Fuck. Yeah, I am. It's not a fucking easy one. No, nah, like it's I'd, not. Yeah. Brooksy was good again, wasn't he? He just was. like, you know, didn't do anything He's wrong. He's just doing his job, <laughs> backing up DCE, not How doing anything wrong. How fucked is this? I'm like, I'm going to tip Manly, but I just... Uh, You'll be right, mate. Fuck. You were more confident in tipping Manly against Roosters last week. Yeah, yeah. I was, at I was confident at that. Yeah. There's just yeah. something about Para. They've just fucked me a heap of times. They didn't even look Penrith that bad was... against Penrith, eh? <laughs> Like they had the eels, fuck, nah. yeah, they had fuck all ball at times, and then mm. as soon as they did, they were getting over. So. I just think Manly just seemed to have the tails wagging at the moment. Yeah. Like I said, there's a couple of really good wins to kick yeah. off. The confidence is high. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, it's hard. It's a fucking coin toss, really. Mm, isn't pretty it? much. I wonder how Olakuatu will look this week because, like. I said, he honestly, I thought he was going to score every time he got the ball proper <laughs> on See, fucking Sunday. I, so. Like, I'll always throw him into a multi for Manly, but in saying that, I was I was very confident last week on him. But yeah. this week you got, like, Moses and Brown who, as far as halves go, are they bigger can, bodies. They chop. They chop. They don't like, yeah, they stand there and get the so, <laughs> so, like, they'll obviously still hit Olakawatu, but it won't be, like, the go-to run over that fucking midget. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going manly. Right, and like. then this is not an easy one either to finish. Sunday's hard. It is. Sunday's hard. Saturday's easy. I think um, this one's especially hard because Melbourne have no Munster still and no Hughes because he got suspended oh. for fucking nailing that ref. Oh yeah, how, what how, the fuck? How weird is this that the oh yeah? So a lot of punters must just be going Melbourne just cause and mm. the odds like. Um, what's the it? odds Newcastle's are the, the betting percentage. favorites, and eighty nine percent are still um, eighty nine on this app. Are still that has got to change. Yep. Yeah, surely they say we might bring it down a little bit because when they see the team list, I'm going Newy. Are you? Yeah, I think they. Right, McDonald Jones. So I, don't know. I think that you. I'm win, tipping Newy because it's must win. It's fucking it's, round yeah, exactly three, right. and it's must win. For and them. they've fucking dropped Jackson Hastings. Yep. Brought in Jack Cogger to start, which isn't bad. No, nah, I don't reckon that's bad. But, like, I think if you're going to drop one of those halves, it had to be Tyson Gamble. Have a go at the halves combos here. you got Pezzett and Wishart. <laughs> Pezzett, Wishart up against Gamble and Cogger. The Pezzett oh. and the Shart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's, Jeez, there's honestly, gonna be... that is why I'm going New well, Year's. I'm I... backing Kalen in. Wait, He'll well, get the yeah. ball heaps. What's it, what was their main talking point? Well, main talking point of mine, at least, at the start before the year, you go, Melbourne heavily invested in the spine. When a couple of them go out, who's the big dogs who are stepping in? And That's then you right. sort of go through this team list now. Pap, obviously a fucking gun. He killed it last week too. Coates, a good finisher, but it's not like Coates is winning you a game. Apparently, a, he is. No, like at the end <laughs> yeah. at the end like that when they can get him the ball. But, I yeah. mean, it's not like he's trucking nut up, fucking making something happen out of nothing. I'm going to get that cut and taken out of context. No, so, that'll be so Coates so isn't winning games. Coates can't win you a game. No, <laughs> and I'm, then just have a fucking clip from you, Saturday night. <laughs> you know you know what I mean. As in yeah. getting the game done. Um, I just don't have any fucking faith in Jonah Peasant and Wish Up, if well, I'm completely yeah, honest. Oh, yeah, and you're just throwing all the eggs at Gamble and Cogger. Yes, I am. Jack <laughs> Cogger came in the fucking grand final last year and – yeah, true. Pretty much like, replacing Harry Grant, Luai with him. Harry Grant would have game. to do a fair bit out of half if yeah. they're going to win, I think, yeah, and really right. grab it by the nuts. I, I'm just backing Kalen in to take lots of ball. Yeah. You know? That's right. Yeah. Early ball. Show. Yeah. I'm tipping the Knights. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go the Knights too. All right. All the boys. Right, that would have sounded in. that dumb then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> He's dwelling uh, on that one. Mm. Um, let's go. Move into the AFL. Come let's. On. Thursday. Yep. March 21st, uh, tomorrow night, St Kilda Collingwood. Big game, this. That is a big game. It's, it's a... huge. This just seems to always be big games. Yeah. It's no matter I'm, what. No you matter... know why? 18 teams in the comp, 23 rounds. That's yeah. right. It's fucking just. It's smaller. Big all the time. 
And there's so many fucking old rivalries in AFL. Mm, yeah. Because so many Melbourne teams, just everyone hates each other. Yeah. So yeah, in yeah, this yeah. game especially, like 2010 most notably, the grand final oh, and the rematch. Oh, the drawn one. I Tom think St Kilda will still just fucking hold on to that forever. But, yeah. So Collingwood must, must, must win. They have to Surely fucking the win. Surely the dogs win. That is why I'm tipping them. Mm. At yeah. the MCG, it's a St Kilda home game, but it's at the G. Collingwood supporters will drown them out. Definitely. Um, so, yeah. I can't. Yeah, even after the two losses, it's like I'm not ready to completely ride if off If the Saints get yet. up this week, they could be fucking the real deal. I know they lost. They still put in a good performance. But they went to Kenya, yeah. almost got the job done. That's if right. they can beat Collingwood at the MCG, the, they could be that the real deal. Huge, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to tip Collingwood, tip me head. Would love to see them get rolled and go Same. 0 and 3. <laughs> I would much rather. I'd go, what, 8 from 9 this week and happily watch Collingwood lose. Copy. Uh, Tom? Uh, Be uh, your tip in Collingwood, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it just doesn't give a fuck. I thought you were staring at over him. We've got yeah, Adelaide yeah. versus Geelong here at Adelaide Oval. Yeah, it's another going jersey. Up there. It's another Come jersey, jersey fucking. Yeah, this is actually, I don't uh, know if you oh. have any Crows jerseys, but I've no. got a Geelong Guernsey. The Jace Tom double. I might, I yeah. might have a fucking scar, because me pop obviously used to go for the, the Crows. That's why I'm with them. Yep. But um, <laughs> I, pr- I might have like a scarf or something. Yeah, we can. I've absolutely will wager that as well. I'll, I'll ask the um, I'll if, ask the old girl. The other one has to wear both things. Yeah, the ball if, is um, like firmly in your court here. Mm. Both home games. <laughs> yeah, they're at um your advantage. But I'll fucking absolutely do it. I'll uh, happily. Well, well, I wouldn't say happily, but bet to bet, I'll sit here with a Penrith jersey well, and a crow scarf. Leave well, it with me. To. I'll ask. I'll ask the old girl if she's uh. Right, Roger. So I reckon uh, that's a that's another massive one. That Mass- is another, another massive, massive one. game because we've sort of yeah, it's hard. Because what are you going, Grubs? I'm going to tip the Crows. <laughs> yeah, it's never fucking easy going to fucking Adelaide Oval. A eh? nah, especially because they're going to be up and about, and they should be sniffing around that eight. That's right. First home game of the year. First home too. game. They've gone to the Gold Coast, yeah. played in front of no cunt. Like, Is Taylor Walk's still out. I don't know. It's you don't get team lists on a Tuesday. That's right. But we might like. Can you find? Can we find like injury list? Maybe. I think summary ins and outs. While there's yeah, we'll figure it out. Taylor um, Walker back. Yeah, it says he's like they don't know when he'll be back. So yeah. hopefully he's still out this week. But yeah, obviously <laughs> I'm going the Cats. Uh, tough trip, but the boys can get it done off a great win last week. Yeah, weekend. good win last week. Hopefully Dangerfield has a terrible game in front of his old club. <laughs> oh, they fucking feed it to him every time. Yeah, eh? well, he fucked them. <laughs> no, <he> didn't. <laughs> um, righto. Frio, the big top eight contenders. Yeah. The I'm, fucking uh, odds here are actually... <laughs> North are paying two dollars seventy five. Yeah, but be paying a fucking fuckload more. Frio hate coming to Melbourne, just they like do. everyone hates going there. True, but yeah, no dollar forty five seems like stealing money. Yeah, <laughs> I um, I'll definitely be back in Frio. I'm tipping Frio too, of course. Tommy, oh, of course, mate. Yeah, Frio. Simple. Yeah, simple for me this one. This uh, Hawks versus D's. Yeah, you simple. You back in. Oh, so you're back, Hawks. <laughs> I, I said simple, you fuckwit. Oh. So you're going D's. <laughs> I'm tipping Hawthorne. Yeah. yeah. You Listen to me, hypocrite. theory, you fuckhead. <laughs> so here he goes. They're playing at home. Obviously, it's both their home. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tip them. This is, I've written this exactly down. I'm tipping them this week, even though I should tip Melbourne, but then that's it for the fucking heart bets. So, so did so Melbourne no. win the comp last year? Can so anyone should, answer me that? Does that no. mean he loves the Hawks have more Melbourne, than he loves the Bronx? Yeah, that's, have Melbourne won back to back to back premierships? Riddle me that. <laughs> God, are you living off ten years ago? No, I said of Melbourne. No, have but Melbourne. No, they Hawks haven't. Have. have Penrith? Yes, they have. Oh, oh, I see. I thought you were basing off Hawthorne ten years no. ago. <laughs> So um, just fucking everyone relax. I just love They're Jace getting one that more chance. Jace is like a coiled spring oh. down the end. That off you. And if you went for Raiders <laughs> and you did this, I'd go, fucking, that's a bit weird. But it's just because it's our Bronx, mate. And you just don't have enough faith in them. Yes, I do. I just tip with me head and I support with me heart. Right, yeah. I, 
I fucking hope. I'm giving the Hawks Hawthorne one more chance. Tips with his cock in the AFL. Yeah. Tips with his Only because big head they the played NRL. fucking, I think they played really well last week, Hawthorne. So, anyway, we'll see. They'll probably get spanked. Yeah, Clayton will um, come and get 40 touches yeah. and kick a bag. Nah, we'll fucking get into him And then sniff as well. <laughs> we'll, get, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get stuck into him early and put him on his ass. Uh, like they did to poor old Sicily on the weekend. Yeah, Fuck me, Dad. Where true. were my blokes? <laughs> <laughs> there was about eight of them just Early whipping on. into the cunt before the first bounce. And yep. I'm going, where's the fucking it's always Hawthorne jersey? It's <laughs> fucking heated, eh? The boys just oh. get into it in that game. It's because he's got such a mouth on him. Yeah, he does. But anyway, up the Hawks. Can't. Can't help. Righto. Easy one. Sydney. Swans. Will yep. win. Sydney. Great Will form. Uh, Forced to be reckoned with this year. Yeah, definitely. My top four prediction is looking good for them, I think. Mm, it is. I just think uh, the fact that they don't have Buddy, there's not a big fucking target there saying kick it to me. True. You know what I mean? Like they're, yeah, anyway, it was a good thing that he retired for their sake. Yeah. Not for mine. Um, I am going to tip the Western Bulldogs here. I think they um, weren't as bad as they probably looked against the Ds. You reckon? I just think uh, Suns going down there. Suns have had back-to-back home games. True. um, Going down there. We'll see if they can put it on. Down there in Ballarat and win, then hey, you should be going. I was just about to ask, where the out. fuck is Mars Stadium? But uh, it's just about a planet away. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beauty. <laughs> that was a fucking beauty. A oh. little bit further than the moon. Did you have that up your sleeve? Or was <laughs> no, I didn't actually. I just rolled yeah. straight off the tongue. That's fucking what, comedic that's what, genius. That's eh? why it was so good. Yeah. Some are just born into this game. <laughs> Um, <laughs> tough one because fuck yeah. Suns do look fucking good. Yeah, but like you said, they're both at home. I don't know. Fuck it, I'm going Suns actually. Yep, I'm nice. going Suns too. Doggies like looked I, very uh, underwhelming last week. I thought it should have been a much closer game. Like I think uh, said, sorry. If they go down there and prove it, you could go, oh, fuck, are the Suns the real deal here? That's right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Demon will have the boys prepped. Yeah. But I'm going to take, I'm not going to take the punt on them yet. Yeah, that's a fair call. Did you see Luke Beveridge fucking ripping into that reporter the beer. after? The, yeah, <laughs> the rum. <laughs> he ripped into a notorious reporter for just fucking hammering the dogs over the years. I think he's come out from, I think he works for Fox Sports or something. He's come out and... Hey, um, what's the reporter's name? S- I think it's Tom right. oh, Smith or something. Oh, let me quickly... You're not talking about Tom Morris. Surely. Tom Morris, yeah, Tom Morris. He fucking... This was last year. The video of him ripping into him. This was last year after round one. Wait, let, I was him gonna say, let him go. <laughs> I was, sorry, let him go. <laughs> go, mate. Is that from round last year? Oh, well, fuck, I'm living under a rock because I am just ruined it. Okay, day. look, <laughs> now you could possibly be right. But I'd be very surprised oh. if after round one again this year, he has torn shreds off Tom Morris because Tom Morris got sacked after that from oh, Fox. Yeah. So I You're would, probably right. Um, I mean, yeah. if it's deja vu, then fucking hold me to it. No, nah, you are right. That was very old. Yeah. Yeah. So the story behind that. So this is how fucked the media is when it comes to this shit. So someone would have been sitting on this Tom Morris Tom Morris, who gives a fuck about Tom mm. Morris? He's a reporter for Fox. No one cares. No, but no. someone's got a WhatsApp conversation with voice recordings and fucking shit oh. of Tom Morris fucking ripping into one of the girls that works at Fox Footy. Oh. Saying like, yeah, yep, yeah, she's the uh she's the you know, she's a, such a good chick, but uh unfortunately she's got her liquor license. <laughs> and no one oh, wow. knew no one knew that she was swung that way, right? So that's happened. Bevo has absolutely fucking ripped into this cunt. Yeah. It's all over the news the next day. And then the media go, now's our chance. Very next day, bang, what's up conversation about Tom Morris gets leaked. Oh. And he gets sacked. Fucking fuck, hell. That was, oh, man. I did think it was like, I swear what I see f- Beveridge like blowing up all the time watching the video the other day and I just obviously didn't see a fucking date on a it date at all. Stamp. And I thought no, but that's like right. It's been, it was, it was two years ago, not one year yeah. ago. Yeah. Oh, well, so. I'm wrong too. But anyway, uh, that just that whole sequence of events, you just go, how long were those cunts sitting on that WhatsApp conversation? Just waiting for or, their chance. Waiting for him to be relevant. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that so bad? 
though. What he like, like he goes, yeah, great looking chick, but she's got a liquor license. Like as in, it's pretty much just a yeah. I think there funny was some, way some in text a private chat to be stuff. like, you know, well. she's gay. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, no, no one knew. Like it wasn't public knowledge. Oh, so he's <laughs> revealed. <laughs> well, that she's the gay. media source did. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Copy. Anyway, good old Good honour, though. Who are you going that game, We should have let him Did go. You... I'm pissed Shit. about that now. Oh, I'm fucking off you. What, what, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going the Suns. Yeah, yep. I'm going the Dogs. Roger. Richmond Port. Kingy's going to the game, actually. Oh, the King. He's a uh, Port man. So He's getting a bit look. of sport in this year, the King. Well, Be he's got to because he reckons he's... Um, he reckons he might be making the move away from Melbourne, so yes. he's going to try and go to as many as he can, you know. Very smart. Um, yeah, look, it's hard. It's Port at the MCG. Mm. I'm going to tip him, but. Yeah, I'm going Port as well. But no, Richmond aren't the real deal this year. So. Yeah. No, they're not, but they've fucking been. Well, they did well to fucking get that close against Carlton, to be fair. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm sticking with Port. That first half against the Suns, though. Ooh. Shocking. Ooh. Shocking. Chew. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then we have 18th versus first Woo! over at Optus. <laughs> She's a long trip west. Oh, <laughs> no. But I'm tipping the Giants. Yeah. They got her. Yeah, yeah. yeah GWS. <laughs> They're another team that looks fucking good, They look man. good, After eh? After the first two rounds, them and Sydney are yeah. like fucking very... Likely top four chances, I think. Yeah. yeah Wish yeah. I put GWS in my top four and I was like, oh, they're always a fucking smoky for top eight, let alone how good they're playing this year. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Um, right, oh, that's all the tips done. We yes. got eight in for the NRL. We got nine in for the AFL. Yeah. Had now, a far better week last week in tipping. Yeah. Cross both. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone did. And how's old fucking Mitch Corro? Uh, we met him at the Magic Millions. Yeah. Essendon the supporter, supporter too. Didn't actually give me shit like another supporter of the show mm. who texted me while he was at the game. Uh, and he also an incident supporter. <laughs> but that's all right. Um, yeah, just trouting. True. in the in Because he's obviously an AFL boy from Melbourne and he's leading the NRL tipping. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fucking why. <laughs> <And Yeah. he's> <laughs> 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 that makes perfect he sense, bro. awesome in round one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit of a very early trout, though. Fuck oh, one of the trout. earliest trouts. Remember what I did last year? Yeah. When I was coming first after I used my joke around one. Mate, there was yep, a bloke in right. the RLC that put up a tip after round one of the first game of round one and said he was in the lead. So that's possibly one of the earliest crows of early crows. <laughs> yeah, I that was. That. I've ever seen. That was, that was, no, Surely. that was after Vegas. Yeah. Two games. Yeah. <laughs> it might have been after one of the two games in Surely Vegas. he was doing it as a piss take. Nah, nah, wouldn't have been. Okay. It's just a Reggie <laughs> getting his chance, mate. Just hey, season it. <laughs> now, this is the time where we give our <coughs> mates at the Standard Squeeze a massive plug. Yes, boys. sure is. Now, they've been one of our be- biggest supporters from round uh, round one, I was going to say. Pretty much. From well, day one, but they have. One. They are round have. zero, really. Now, we harp on about how good they are each week, but we've got big news. This week, yes, we do. they've got a new fucking product that they're launching in a couple of weeks, mm. right? It's called the Hydrate. Um, I'm going to read off the paper here because this is hot off the press. This is hot off the press. Better today. Um, they've been testing these for six months. They're dual wall vacuum sealed breasts, it says, <laughs> that keep the water cold for 24 hours plus. Now, I believe him because he told me that out of his mouth himself. Like it's in the sun. So it's it's a fucking insulated water bottle, man. Yeah, and probably. they legit keep water. If you put ice in it and some water, it will keep the water the whole time. Perfect for. So a mate of mine's got something similar. We went fishing. It's just a th- it's a four liter thing. Yeah. You fill it up. It sits in the corner. You don't have fucking twenty water bottles in the esky. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. Yeah, they're unreal. So. There's going to be heaps more to come on this because they're a couple of weeks away still. There's your little teaser so to keep an eye out. So that's your teaser. Yep. They're going to launch the hydrate. Oh, uh, no, they're launching them this Thursday. Oh, oh fucking you beauty. Fucking, blue ball, fucking get ready then. Yeah. They come with three different lids, unlike all the other bottles out there where you have to pay extra. Um, and then the Reggie's choice should obviously be the big boy, which is the 3.8 litre. Load it with ice, keep water cold all weekend in the heat. Yeah, it's um, perfect. Do you know it? my only worry with this thing? As soon as it gets in the door, the missus will fucking snag it. 
Oh, yeah. They love water bottles. And well, do you know how to fix that problem? <laughs> and for all other regions that have that get problem, two. is just get two of them. Yeah. You can never so there's have a one, too many. 1. Okay. 1.9 litre and a 3.8 litre. So we'll have to look, share it on our. Uh, we'll, we should do a little. When they launch, we might do a little uh, fuck reshare yeah. on the Insta. We'll so put a picture up because it's got the handle and everything that you you know carry it around. It's with. perfect for everything. It's it looks pro- fucking prime. It's the inconvenience of having to fill cunts up or yeah. take heaps of them on the job site. Ooh. fishing, It's like a genuine. It's hard for everything. it's hard for us, and we to sit here and do like a fucking readout ad because we genuinely like them and love well, their we shit. We love it, yeah. So it's it's easy for us to just sit here and talk about, which think is about why how this awesome always happens and we go rambling yeah. on. <laughs> well, one thing I always used to fuck up at in the mines and that as well as now even is I didn't drink enough water because I didn't have a good bottle that I liked. Mm. So and you this, do still don't drink enough I, I still water. don't. I've always said if I <laughs> yeah, says crash this. in the desert with 200 cunts, I'll be walking around for a day going, fuck, everyone else will die because <laughs> yeah. I don't need that much water. He's trained his You'll body. You'll be the last survivor. Mm-hmm. Just in case you watch me, I'll fucking just, I'll make it to that little dam. <laughs> yeah, oh. just in case you're ever stuck in the desert with well, 200 just, trunks. I'm just training myself. <laughs> and you'll be sitting up there on your high horse going, look at all you can. <laughs> Told you. And then I'll die by Can't myself. believe you need water. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, use the oh. code Reggie15 and yeah, check Reggie out. Reggie15. Because obviously all the other products are still there. The standard squeezes, like I said, I've recently got stuck into my work and seen other people getting stuck into their work with the mini squeeze. Yeah. Great thing. Um, we got, uh, yeah, yeah standardsqueeze.com. Go check out those two uh, new items and then, yeah, don't forget about all their other stuff. Reggie15, 15% off at checkout, standardsqueeze.com. I've got two noms and it's Thurman for pulling out of the boxing. Don't care. Did like tell yeah. me he broke his leg in half. I don't care. He can still have the squeeze. Mm. Or Jace Todd. Well, I didn't yeah. see. I didn't see Jace ref. Um, so I can't comment on that. Yeah. And squeeze worthy. I think another good shout is um, Jerome Hughes getting suspended for taking the ref out. Yeah. So That's like, fuck me. Obviously, he wasn't play. cleaning him up. The ref's in the wrong spot. What is he meant to do? Get out of my way. I, I will need to have to go and watch that Yeah, again. I can't comment did on Tony it. Did Tony Carroll get suspended when he kneed the ref no, and knocked no, him out? No, he did not. There you go. I need, did you watch it about 15 times and see if you could? Because I'll need to watch not it. Not 15 like, but times. But it, but it wasn't. Know what the fuck? It was just accidental though, right? Like, yeah, there was no yeah. penalty or nothing. <laughs> fuck, man. It was play on. <laughs> How, how much does that way, sting refs. Melbourne to with Munster, with Munster out? As well. out. Yeah. That's just like, come on. Belly, Bellamy would be pumped. Oh, I'd be mm. thrilled. So do we do give it to the NRL or the yeah. judiciary? Just or? refing in general then because you've got that judiciary and you've got uh, yeah. Toddy, myself, Smith. Fuck yeah. yeah, let's smash the refs. Not really the refs' fault that he didn't blow a penalty and now the player's suspended, <laughs> but <Yeah>. refs. <laughs> 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 Fuck yous. Oh, right right. Right. Another one of our big supporters, CTC, Country Trucker Caps, the best domes in the dome covers in the land, for the best domes in the land. Uh, go to countrycompanies.com is where all the knuckles designs already are. Country Trucker Caps, to design your very own. Who is our CTC cap? Turn of the week. Well, I had two noms. Noms? Again, uh, noms. Xavier Coates or Elise Perry. Elise oh, has man. already Elise has Ooh. already got the the uh, that try award. that try you don't see like that in that scenario very often. I think it's just that's, that's just, it's yeah. got to be him. everything about it, the finish, the circumstances, yep. win the game. I think it's very captain worthy. Yeah, it's got captain written all over. That's it. that's it one of those ones that he has forever now. Like mm. as in he can show his grandkids that like that highlight mm. reel, yep. the way it happened in the game. Fucking good on him. Fucking awesome. oath. Good Skip. on him. Yeah, good on your skip, skip for this skip. week. The skipper. Yeah, beautiful. Right, oh well, we might wrap it up there. Um, I Sounds reckon good. this time next week there'll be big, big news. Yes, I have a of, feeling coming out of the Reggies. I have a feeling there will be some sort of. Uh, merchandise mm. style of uh, what you've been requesting for a long, long big time. Big fucking news. Footy's back. It's it's, it's the cool is around the corner. Yeah. It'd be good to have something in between. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Righto, we'll wrap it up. Massive weekend ahead again. Um, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you Friday for the punch show where we will discuss the fucking holing that oh, these two big on my left and right copped on the weekend. <laughs> Righto. All right.